I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year, and I wish you the best of peace. Please, if you have to subscribe, kindly do so. And I'm reaching you live from the Holy City and the Holy Land. For that, due to unforeseen circumstances. Now, back to the question. Before now, we have been hearing of many cases, um, explosion in our various homes, and people have been asking, can picking a, um, cell phone calls around gas hooker where they can cause explosions? Now, let's look at it scientifically. We know that for now, there has not been any scientifically proven uh, fire incidents or inferno arising from what? From gas, from usage of, from usage of phone near gas cooker. Now, most of us have these problems, and you have been trying to find out if actually why making phone calls or why answering phone can cause a, an explosion within our environment. Now, since I, like I've said, there's no scientifically proven means or evidence or research to prove that. But now, let's look at it in conclusion. If we know that our mobile phones transmit um, radiations, and in our mobile phones, Mobile phones are possible. They have a transmission range. So our mobile phones, they all use radio um, radio frequency, which are between the range of, I think, 270 to 2,700 megahertz. And this transmission power can trigger what? Can trigger an explosion. Now, we know that also that if a gas is confined in a cylinder and it's subject to a normal room temperature, it cannot also be what? It, can it cannot also just explode. So what are those factors that can lead to gas explosion? One, if there are leakages, if there are leakages from the gas cylinder, from the welding joint or from the hose, and since propane gas are heavier than air, when gas leaks, it is stored in that particular environment because there's no means of escape. And if there is any static spark, or electromagnetic spark, which what will also cause static electricity, electricity, which can come from either of the phone or from human body. Yes, human body transmits what electro, um, static electricity, which is even evidence in our normal physics that if you check in dressing, your clothes can make spark sound. Even your hair, when you rub a pen on your hair, it can create an it can create a static electricity. So unless if your gas is leaking and your body transmits that static electricity, therefore. There's possibility of what ignition, but when the gas cylinder is subjected to a high temperature, also, so when the gas cylinder is subjected to a high intensity of heat, that is the only way there can be explosion, but not answering a cell phone call around it. Now, there's what we call BLEVE, that is boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. That is due to what? Due to high increase in heat on the what? On the gas cylinder whereby it causes a pressure differential because when there is increase in temperature there's always increase in what pressure exerted on that what body so it, can, it has been proven that cell phone calls cannot naturally trigger a gas explosion a gas fire in any environment unless if there is what leakage from that gas cylinder which can either be from the body or from the host and for you to determine if your gas cylinder is safe therefore you will have to do what you call soap solution test you have to apply a soap, soapy solution on the body of the cylinder. Then if there are bubbles around the body after applying it, definitely the result will cause leakage. And apart from that, if you don't have to do the soap solution, there's what we call makeup tans, which are which makes the gas smell very um to have a bad odor, odor smell. So if the makeup tans that are embedded in those gases are not there, there's no way you can perceive that it is a gas leakage. So what I have to do, you have to do what you call monthly periodic checks on your gas cylinder, put a soapy solution, apply it around the hose, around the body, and to make sure, to make sure that there is no what leakage happening unknowingly. And make sure that if at all you must use your phone, if, if at all you must use your cell phone around the gas cylinder, make sure that it does not exert a static electricity, electricity which can also trigger what the fire. So without much ado, I thank you once more. Uh, please, if you have any review or any questions, can you drop them on the comment section? I'll be glad to welcome them and expect more videos from now to the end of this year. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please motivate the spirit, body and soul by what? Clicking subscribe. See you next time. Bye.